Well, back to the election now. Former Vice President Joe Biden suffered another weekend of blunder-filled campaign stops, fueling some concerns over his 2020 competency. Listen. Imagine what would have happened if, God forbid, Barack Obama had been assassinated after becoming the de facto nominee. We'll make sure it's not a quality. We'll make sure it's only affordable. I love this place. I love, look, what's not to like about Vermont in terms of the beauty of it? And what a neat town. So do Democrats still believe Joe Biden is their best chance to beat President Trump? Here to debate is Republican strategist Joseph Pinion and a member of the Virginia House of Delegates, Mark Levine. Thank you both for joining us this morning. We appreciate it. Thanks yeah. for having us. Uh, so, Mark, I will start with you. What do you think? Still all in on Biden? I think we've got lots of good choices running for the Democratic president. I think Joe Biden is a great choice. I think the comparison between he, him and Donald Trump is huge. You know, a few things uh, Joe Biden gets wrong. Donald Trump says 13 lies a day. He's actually up to 20 now, according to the Washington Post. He misspelled his wife's name. And more importantly, he's not looking out for America's middle class. Uh, Joe Biden is all about America's middle class. He would never give that massive middle class tax cut, the largest in American history, that Donald Trump is mm -hmm. doing. You know. Bank of that, was a good, that was a good pivot, by the way, away from talking <laughs> about, um, you know, Joe Biden and his competency and the other candidates on the 2020 well, compared side. Compared to Donald Trump, a competency? Sure. I mean, really, that's a joke. So, uh, um, Joseph, what do you think? Let's get your comment on this. Uh, look, I think that President Trump might have to change his name from Sleepy Joe to Marty McFly. I mean, last week he was lost in time. This week he's lost in New England. Uh, doesn't know whether he's in Vermont or New Hampshire. I mean, again, look, realistically, I think I still think to this day, Democrats, rank and file voters, think the litmus test for who the nominee will be is who can beat Donald Trump in a toe to toe event. Mm -hmm. I think that's why Joe Biden has consistently been ahead in those polls. And again, it's going to come down to Iowa. It's going to come down to those individuals who are those organized labor workers. Mm -hmm. Mark, uh, as we continue to talk about it, I want to bring up just a scroll of some of the gaffes that have been made by Joe Biden. And these are just since the beginning of this, the first of this month. Uh, we're going to talk a little bit more about this later, so I don't want to touch on it too much. But in terms of fundraising, uh, you know, is that an indication that maybe there are some problems with Joe Biden as well? You know, if you were to do a scroll of Donald Trump's gaffes and mistakes, you could go for weeks with that scroll because he's had 12,000 lies in his 869 days, again, documented by The Washington Post. Look, the difference, I think, is people trust Joe Biden. Joe Biden would not help North Korea get nuclear-tipped missiles that can hit the United States. Joe Biden wouldn't play footsie with Russia while attacking our ally Denmark. I mean, we have an incompetent, erratic, dangerous president giving us the largest debt. Republicans used to care about debt. And we have Donald Trump giving us the largest debt ever in American history. Yeah, so I think that Joe Biden is trustworthy, but I think we have lots of good choices. You know, I'm, among wondering, the I'm wondering if in the next debate, Joseph, um, Joe Biden will be asked about China and his dealings with China, specifically involving his family, because, you know, China front and center on the news, the trade deal President Trump says is now going to happen. China says they're willing to negotiate. What about that? <laughs> Look, I, I think realistically that. I mean, it, could, it might seem like a laughing matter, but I think realistically the individuals who live here in America, those farmers who really are looking for a break from this uh, ceasing trade war that we're dealing with, I think they take it very seriously. I think, again, do, Democrats because clearly, Trump please don't interrupt me. I didn't interrupt you. So here's the truth. Right now we're dealing with the fact that Democrats seemingly have not learned the lessons of 2016. They continue to go back to the well to these big names who are past their prime. They started with Hillary Clinton in 2016. She was clearly not Hillary Clinton of 2008. They started started off with saying that we're going to have a white knight coming here named Bob Mueller, who was going to save the day and rewrite America. Turns out that didn't happen easy. So I think right now you have Democrats who continuously say that everything is wrong, the House is on fire, and yet when you look at the polls, they can't even find a Dalmatian to beat no. uh, Donald Trump in the polls. Mm -hmm. Farmers well, know who's causing this problem. Well, they know it's Donald Trump who's, who's ruining their business. You know what I've always business. heard, Mark? Um, They're not I've stupid. always heard that you can't win a campaign by just running against someone that you have to run on something. And, you know, when right. it comes to the economy, Democrats can't run on that this time around because the oh, I economy think they can because is flourishing. No, but Trump is going to ruin the, the uh, Obama-Biden economy. He's talking us into recession. Okay. You can see it with the inverted yield I mean, curve. I don't really know we how are you... headed there now it's the and because of Donald Trump raising of taxes. what's been announced today, though. The filibuster is uh, no, a lot of No, look at that market. Right. <laughs> Joseph, Mark, and the market's been on the way back up today. Uh, Joseph, we'll Mark, see. thank you very much for joining us. Thank Thanks you. for having us. All right. Well, the time now is about 20 minutes until the time.